hair flyaways and things happening over here. Do I need my light? I don't know. I might. We'll figure that out. <sighs> I got to put this together because I was just taking my little promo picture for my live. Mm, let's see what where and where. I'm trying to organize this as much as I can. Lomi8223 is here and I am Farah36 is here. Hi, gar girls. I guess she goes both are girls. Beauty for you, 222 and the Ethereal Essences are with us. And hi. Hello, YouTube, beautiful friend. How is it today? Um, I hope everybody's having a fantabulous Sunday. We are going to talk about green. The color I've got on my eyes, the color I'm wearing. Miss Charlie's here. Um, Miss Charlie's going to be having fun because she has a bunch of these palettes. I've got a bunch of palettes to go through. And um, I also have some stuff to show you that I just picked up. Just, you know, little little bits and bobs, as they like to say on the other side of the pond. Babe and Bronze are 91 and Marilee designs are both with us hi it's 2 a.m monday here in uae wow uh united arab arab Emirates, and japan wow that's so cool so we have japan we have the uae i'm so excited uh, guys i love uh, man i am if if i could have any dream any dream really my greatest dream i think would be just to travel the world I don't know when it comes down to it at the end of your life is that really what you're gonna say was the most important thing maybe but yes i would i want to go to japan my brother actually lives in japan um, and has lived there for many years and um my where does this one go oh right here and my uh i have not i don't know have anybody that lives in the uae but yeah cool awesome uh, I have not opened the Juvia's ones yet, or my ColourPop Darth Vader, or my Lois Cosmetics. Oh, I haven't gotten my Lois yet, um, but hopefully that will happen. Okay, this needs to stay out. Am I, are we organized, Priscilla? Are we organized? Oh, I think we're organized. Hi, can we be friends like chatting private, you know? Oh my goodness, if I have time, I barely have time to do this. Yeah, you're welcome to send me a message and I will try to get back to you. Look at my hair. Do you see how my hair is doing crazy things? Dubai. I love to go to Dubai. I would love to go to Dubai. I would, uh, that would be a fantastic trip. I'm thirsty guys. I'm thirsty. I was going to put these nails on my nails, these fake nails on my fingers today. I didn't get around to it. Life went really quickly. Um, once again, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I'm going to actually put my my uh, ring light on hopefully on a low um a low setting because it's daytime and the windows open but it's cloudy we got dumped on with snow again yesterday we had it was raining and we thought it was just going to be an ice mess but it wasn't it was it's kind of heavy snow so hair's doing weird things i've gotten where you know because i've got this kind of shag sort of super long shag well not super long but long shag um definitely longer than most this is this is doing weird things because of what i did so basically at night i just comb, you know keep my bangs forward and then i take all the rest and i put it in a super high bun and then when i take it down it has some volume and stuff tone castle is it tone castle or tone castile i don't know is that is that uh, a <laughs> French? Because <laughs> that would mean like your castle, right? Or your house. Uh, Use by Ray is with us. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited. Uh, Miss Charlie's having a margarita. Well, Miss Charlie, you are obligated to have one for me too. So I don't have one. So have two. And you're not you're not overindulging because you're just having mine. That's all it is. It's res responsibility. 70s yesterday, 60 today is just beautiful weather. Well, we don't have it quite that nice. Rainbow's running around playing with her toys because mommy's doing a live stream and that means she needs to play with her toys. Kitty will probably jump up here at some point because she has made a habit of doing that. So you're going you're gonna to interact with me and the kids. Um, so before coming, as you guys, those of you that are around, um, you know, who was it that, that, posted about yeah didn't you say you went to did you go to marshall's and get the bh stuff 
Oh my goodness. I've like been interacting with, when I can't sleep, I interact with people's posts. <laughs> uh, I will have one for everyone. Yes, absolutely. Miss Charlie's going to have a margarita for everyone. I, I hope you do. No, I don't. Cause you might get poisoning. Uh, I like knowing more about my brother in Japan. Oh, you might already know my brother in Japan. <laughs> He's in Tokyo and he's, he thinks he's a playboy and he's like 60 years old. So he's my older brother. He's 16 years older than me. So, uh, anyway, so, uh, coming back from church, we decided to go to, uh, golden corral, go to the, to the, all you can eat. Uh, my husband was really hungry last night. We couldn't find anything that was open once we were done, you know, doing the stuff we needed to do. And, uh, we had our outreach with the the kids from the reservation. And one of the, one of the guys, he's like, I had stars stamped uh, in my eyes. He's like, why do you have that star on your eye? And I said, so it matches the other eye. And he was like, what? <laughs> and he's like, are those tattoos? And I was like, no, I didn't get face tattoos. Those are just a stamp. He's like, do you have it here? <laughs> Cause he wanted to put stamps like you know, the teardrops or something. I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't have it here. It's at my house. Anyway, he was all interested in the, in this the stars that I had stamped on my face. But um, anyway, after we finished, it was super late and everything. And then hubby was hungry because we had pizza and he's not a pizza guy. So um, he's like, oh, I want to eat. So we stopped at a couple places and the kitchen was closed. And so he basically didn't eat anything last night. So um, then we went to church this morning. He ate, you know, kind of grabbed some snacks there and that was it. And then he was like, he was like, okay, I'm going to go eat all you can eat from yesterday and today. But of course that, by that point, your, st your stomach kind of shrinks and then you're not, you can't eat as much as you would like to eat. So he was like, sorry, I have to, I have to leave some of it. But um, then after that, I was like, I'm going to go to Marshall's because uh, either Miss Charlie or someone was telling me that there's BH palettes there. I saw, which palettes did I see? I saw a face palette that I wasn't interested in and I saw, I saw a couple that, but I wasn't interested in any of them. So, um, UBS manager. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, that's a, that's a whole story. Probably can't introduce you to him because he doesn't talk to me right now. He has some, he has some issues that he's going through. So <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. He doesn't talk to me. He talks to my husband, but he doesn't talk to me. Uh, anyway, so we stopped at Marshall's. I was hoping that I would be able to get some BH palettes. I did not, but I got, oh, TJ Maxx. Yeah, I know some people were saying they were at Marshall's and some people were saying they were at TG Maxx. Um, so this this little guy ended up in my shopping cart. It's so cute. Now I got to get some some racks or something over here. I need to figure out how to mount it on the wall right here. It says, I want every girl to know that her voice can change the world. Aww. But it's true, actually. And I like this because I'm a voice teacher. That's actually my occupation. Oh, kitty and puppy are tussling and whatnot. And it was on clearance for three bucks. Yay for clearance. We like we like good prices. So, yeah, that I hope this will go up here at some point. We'll see. Because of this white wall behind me is not super exciting. Um, but in the meantime, I'll put it right here. I don't think you can read that, but I'll put it there anyhow. If you're on YouTube, you can read it. Um, I need more water. I'm super parched. Sorry if you can hear the gulping. And then I got this because I hadn't been towel drying my hair, but now um, sometimes I do just so I can kind of control it a little bit. And the towel I have isn't staying in my hair. So this is the one of the little hair towels. Super soft, absorbent, lightweight for $4.99. And it's purple. So this will be my hair drying towel, little turban guy thingy, Bobby. So I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while. I like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for this kind of thing because you can get like the pseudo bougie stuff for not pseudo bougie prices. So that's kind of fun. Oh, guys. So I just put it on one side, wrap it up, turn it around, and then hook it on the front. There you go. All right. So that'll be my... My hair. And then I got some eye brushes. Oh my goodness. We talked about this before. Miss Charlie says she has too many. And I probably have too many. But I also want more. Because I like eye brushes. And I also like little eye brushes. So I'm always looking for sets that have little ones. The G is 4-in-1. 
that's what it is, right? The, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but hi, welcome to our party. Um, we're talking about stuff that I picked up at Marshall's. Um, so I actually got three brush sets. And this one has a little holder on it. That's kind of cute. I actually just realized that. Actually, this one has one too, but I already knew that. This is one I... Um, I heard that these are pretty decent. The real techniques. I know I am totally out of the loop with this. I'm sorry, guys. That's what happens when you live out of the U.S. or out of the developed world. For a while, you just kind of get out of the loop. Um, I have lots of small eye brushes. Yeah, because my eyes are hooded, I, I need it for detail work. I don't have a lot of space. And so if I want to do even what I've got on my eye right now, um, I have to kind of think about that. But also the thing with my eyes is that uh, because they're so hooded, I have to plan for how it's going to, the shimmer is going to kind of transfer and blend together. So I kind of, I plan in horizontal, no, vertical stripes because it, it's, it, you know, kind of just blends together. But if you do it right, it looks like it does now after several hours, which I'm good with. Uh, which is not too much different than when I left the house. So this is the Real Techniques and Enhanced Eye Set for Shadow, Liner, and Mascara. Mascara. Oh, guess the brush. Um, it was $5.99 for five brushes and a little holder. I don't know that I need the holder, but it's purple. So that's always a plus. This little holder, I don't know how practical that is. There's a plastic thing in there randomly. I'm not sure what that's all about. But yeah, this is actually when I was looking at Wal at I was looking at at Walmart. That's a lot of ads, but you get what I'm saying. And uh, okay, this is the this is the like that sort of comb that I like that for going through the lashes. That's probably my favorite, and I didn't have one of those before, so that's cool. I was kind of thinking it was regular bristles because it has a little cover on it. All right, stick that in the little holder, and then it's got this one, which is pretty small. I'll show you the sizes. So this one's the big one. And those are, this one's quite big and this one's quite small. So this is nice for just like blending out. I like, to, you know, I, I basically just go and like fluff over everything to really blend it out. Ronnie Vill, Villanueva, Vill, Vill, Villanueva, is that what it is? Ronnie, Ronnie, Rone, is it Rone? Anyway, hi, welcome. <laughs> But I really like these ones because they, they let me really get in the corners. And I don't have enough of these, like, little small, that's a little small detail brush, right? Smaller than the, the point of my finger. Hi, Katie. How's it going? You found a bag? She found a plastic sack. And she's like, ooh, this is fun. And then this guy, I don't use these a whole lot, but I do have um, liner, water activated. And this comes to a nice point. So maybe I'll get into those during the summertime. I use that small one for when I clean up the brows with concealer. Yeah, it's maybe more fluffy than I would have thought for that, but I guess that makes sense. And then this is a nice kind of small, fluffy blending brush. It's, again, you compare it to my fingertip. So, yeah, so those are nice. That's a nice little set for six bucks. Um, I've just been on this brush thing. Hi, Katie. How's it going? You want to say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. No, she said no. She got shy. Um, I've seen these ones for a while. Prisco Hernandez is here. Hi, Prisco Hernandez. How's it going? Good to have you pop in again. We're talking about the goodies I got at Marshall's just now. Um, I get the I get the less major stuff out of the way first, and then we get into the major stuff, like all my green palettes that we're going to talk about. I've had them stacked up here for almost a month because I was so excited about it, <laughs> waiting for March to come along, and then my new um, monthly basket. So this is the Cala. The last two are Cala is the brand, and I've seen some pretty good reviews, but I like the fact that these are so teeny. Look how small this one is right here. I'm loving it. Kitty just decided to say hi. So she popped up there on the back of my chair. I had to get the different colored ones. They had a couple of these in different colors because I'm a little multicolored. My hair is a little multicolored. I need to like remove the hair color, but not not bleach it. And then just kind of next time I do it and then just kind of start over. I did re-intensify and it I like I like how it worked out, worked out, but um 
At some point, I do want to do some brighter. Yeah, he cute kitty, isn't she cute? Her name's Peanut. She's she's Rainbow's sister. They love each other now. They play quite a bit. Uh, Real Technique brushes I have had for many years. I even had the dupes from eBay. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's good to know. Yeah, I know Real Techniques have have they've had a pretty good reputation. Brandon Perez two three two one three three is with us. Hi, Brandon Perez two one three three. So I'm gonna. I feel like this. I feel like this is the ideal tampon holder for when you're traveling. Um, tell me I'm wrong. Put this in your purse. Whatever, because you know you don't want to like. You put a tampon in the purse and it, it, inevitably it gets smushed, whatever. You know, it's just, it doesn't work. So this is kind of a cool little tampon holder. I mean, it's also a cool little brush holder, which is what its intended purpose is, right? All those little brushes fit in there. Isn't that cute? Luna loves. Hi, Luna loves. Actually, it's Luna loves. <laughs> Welcome to our party. We're talking about brushes I picked up at, at um Marshall's today, but I love the fact that these are all small. This is the biggest one and it's still a pretty small one and then the rest gets smaller. I love that. This is great for inner corner. What do you think of my brushes, Katie? I'm going to put those with the other ones and I am actually going to keep this one for a tampon holder. Does anybody else do that? Or is it just me? It also could be for like your cigars or your cigarettes or whatever. Um, our cats are getting used to the the dog's sitting here now, and the dog is chewing on a teething ring for puppies, and the cat is in the window, and then it's quiet. Yeah, they get used to each other. If they if they realize that the other is not going to harass them, and after they're there, they're like, well, okay, I guess this is the way it's supposed to be. It's exciting and drama-filled filled, filled, filled for the first little bit, and then after that, they're like, oh, okay, I guess this is the way life's going to be now. So, I mean, a rainbow is really calm with the cats because she grew up with cats grew up with a cat and so she's very used to that and she likes cats so she's not aggressive with them so here's another Kala set uh eye complexion set and this is five pieces and this was 5.99 i believe that last one was 4.99 let me double check that two 4.99 yeah so two of them for 5.99 and one of them for 4.99 so this is all like wooden and this is kind of cute but again fairly small I had picked up one that had four brushes and it was the same price. Then I put it back because I found this one. And they're basically, they're basically the same brushes. So this one's the biggest one. It's a nice, this is actually a really nice fluffy for like really blending in, like blending the outsides. Um, Barbie Cap is with us. Hi, Barbie Cap. And Ms. Ms. Men. Ms. Men is with us. Um, you got another one of these good ones for putting the, the shimmers in small places. We have a new cat outdoors. He likes the dog. His name is Scruffy. Aw, Scruffy. Cute. Um, so I've got a couple of the little angled brushes. I do, these are pretty nice and, and compact. So they should be, especially this one looks pretty precise. That's good. Yeah, and I think the others, like this is a great brush for just getting the the uh, color into where you want, but not because my, you know, again, my real estate is not that wide. And then this is just a basic fluffy brush, but in a smaller version. So those are all my new brushes and they all fit in a little holder. Isn't that cute? And it says RT for real, real techniques or something like that. <sighs> How's the margarita? Um, my water's pretty good. Man, I'm thirsty. All right. So you want to see what I got? By the way, hi, I'm Priscilla. And I like to talk about things. We're talking about things. By the way, I was a rebel today. It snowed, so you know what I did? I wore shorts. This is a little romper. You can't see the bottom. There's a, I got this little belt. Um, and it's so cute. It's got these like, you know, long what do they call these puffy sleeves, whatever. Um, I wore this because, you know, people don't see my, want to see the girls in church. I mean, maybe they don't want to see them everywhere, whatever. Delicious. I need a refill. Yes. You, you finished yours. Now you need mine. Uh, I am Farah. Yes. Sis, 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 sis. Uh, <laughs> she says, yes. Sis, 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 sis. Um, she wants to see what I got. <laughs> but anyway, this is, I wore 
um, tights underneath this and then I wore boots. But I was like, I'm wearing shorts today because I am rebelling against winter. And so that's what we did. I wasn't leading worship today, so I felt like I could do that. I would have done it even with leading worship, generally speaking, but this is uh, actually not our church really anymore. It's our church is meeting with another church, and they're kind of the dominant. So I just wanted to, you know, they're more conservative. Just beautiful plus me. Oh, I like that name. How cute. Just beautiful plus me. Um, you would appreciate my outfit. It's just beautiful, and it's very plus me. I love tops with puffy sleeves. I do, but when it's hot, sleeves, that's where I, I heat is on my on my arm, so I don't like to wear them. But now that I'm so used to the tropical weather, maybe I'll be okay with it. Uh, Peter Robe. Pieter Robe or something like that is with us. Hi. Come to Ohio. It's nice spring weather. Oh, shut up. <laughs> my niece is in Ohio. Um, hi, pretty. Hi, I'm not sure if you're pretty or not, because I don't see your picture, but you know, hi to you too. So, okay, we're going to talk about green. And when we talk about green, I'm going to talk to you about what I just got in the mail. Did you see it? Did you see what it was? Did I go fast enough that you didn't see it? Ooh. So let's talk about green palettes. I am going to switch this out. This is my February monthly basket. Those of you that are around here know that what I do is I have a basket for each month, plus I have a project pan basket. So this back here is my project pan basket, and that means those are just in there, and I alternate. Basically, one day I use a project pan, and one day I use the other one. And there's enough stuff in here that I have variety. Oh, hi, we're in Ohio. That's a good question. I'm not exactly sure I should ask you that. Queen of the beauty blog. Hi, queen of the beauty blog. I'm looking at your profile picture, and I can't tell what that is. It looks like a body part, but I can't tell. I thought it was like a belly or a back. It's got like that. Come visit so we can talk. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah, you know what? One of these days, I'm going to have to start making some trips and visiting some of you guys because that would be, I mean, and not even just overseas, but also in the U.S., but also overseas because <laughs> I, oh, I love to travel. I love to travel. It's just lips. Oh, it's just lips? Oh, no, no. I was talking to Queen of the Beauty blog, but yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. You, it, never mind. It's the same thing. What in the world? Oh, you know what it is. Okay, so when you pop up, it zooms in. So it went to the neck. So it's that little divot in the neck. Okay. I, I'm not, then your other picture came up normally, and I was like, wait, that's a different person. Oh, no, it's the same one with bright orange lippy on. Yeah, the one that I first saw didn't show. It just showed this. It's basically this. And I was like, what is it? It looks like a body part. It is a body part. Part. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, the lips are beautiful, by the way. I was like, what is that? Is it a, you know, because it has that little divot here. Kitty, the claws in my leg are not the most pleasant feeling in the world. Green palettes. Are you guys going to do green for the month, month of March? Even a little bit? Even on the 17th? A little bit? Somebody? Green month of March? Yes? Rainbow <laughs> loves the fact that the kitty chases are now. This is great fun. So they'll be doing this a little bit, <laughs> running back and forth, because it's great fun. So um, what do we want to start with? Let's start with the palettes that I have already used, meaning that I've gone through three looks, at least three looks, maybe five. Um, and those are all posted on my Instagram. Some of them might be a little bit older. But I wanted to bring these out. At first, I wasn't going to, but I decided... Why not? And they're they're arranged in order of size so that they are the, there's like an earthquake in here, so that they are the most stable. So when Kitty comes running across here, they don't all scatter. So on top, we have this little dude here. So this is the Elf Mint Melt. This palette is mostly um, uh, garbage. <laughs> it's funny because these little bite size got such a great reputation. This is the uh, meant to be one. I love this color here. This one on the end is like grayish. It's like really an army, a true army green. It's so pretty. Uh, it's like a blue, gray, green. I don't know what it is. Uh, I have a lot of green palettes on my makeup calendar. Doing green tomorrow with the Uden's Eye Angie palette. Yeah, that one's here too. Um, I haven't done a look with the, I haven't even swatched it yet. I've seen so many swatches and I'm like, I'm going to like take my time with that. I think I'll do two looks with it sometime. So We'll see. But I did do three looks with this, and I like them. The, the only way I can get this light 
mat here to do anything is to put it over the top of this. This is really good. So this is their uh, no budge eyeshadow. Hubby's making something. Oh, opening a beer. That's what's, what's up. So that's the sound. Um, teal. Yeah, it says it's this here. This says it's mint. Oh, this color. Yeah, it's not really teal. It's it's a grade blue army green. <laughs> My husband's trying to give the dog beer. She's he traumatized her when she was a puppy, and he put some like a taste of it in her mouth, and she's been like for like 30 minutes or longer. And so she hides from him when he drinks beer because she remembers that <laughs> it's been years. Anyway, um, the two shimmers are okay. This one's kind of just a mess. This one's pretty, the lighter one. Um, this, yeah, as I said, this matte works pretty well to layer over this, but other than that, you can't really get it to stay or show up or anything. Uh, okay. So Miss Charlie has done two looks already. One is posted. The other one will be on her YouTube. So if you're looking, and that's Angie's palette, right? Um, so if you're interested in seeing her looks with this palette, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, um, go check her out. She does beautiful looks. Uh, I'm yet to try elf eyeshadows. Um, yeah, they're, they're not bad to start with, but this is definitely not one to start with. So. You can forget about this one, but I'll, you know, I'll hang on to it for a little bit. And I do, I do really like this color here, but other than that, the other one's better. There were two of these. The other one's better. I'll show you the other one a little bit. I think it's right here. Yeah. It's there. Um, okay. So that's one I've used. I'm going to try to get through these fairly quickly. Oh, but this is definitely worth it. This is, uh, it sets really nicely. I'll just swatch it there. You get really good pigmentation. It's popped up. That's not what we want. Um, really good pigmentation and it will dry down and layer. And so when I do looks with that, I like to put this down as my base and then it pretty much stays put. So yeah, it's really nice. I have the hot jalapeno in the bite size. Uh, that one is here as well. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Fluffy smiles. Hi, fluffy smiles. How are you? I've missed you. We haven't seen you for a little bit. I come, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing the Saturday, the Sunday a little bit later because I'm usually doing it later anyhow and it seems like more people can join me then so um they're so cute they're just sitting down here together next essence this is bomb who has it who has it this is so good i the the packaging of course is cheap you see it all wearing off it is so stinking good so this is the dancing green this whole series was good the only one i don't have wait there might be two i don't have i don't have the blue one i know and there's, is there like a pink one? Maybe I don't have that one or something like that. This is so good. It doesn't look super exciting. Now, actually this color, I just realized, Ooh, this is kind of similar to the one in the, now this one is a little bit more blue and a little bit more gray, but those are pretty similar to those deep colors. And this one has a little bit more pigment. So maybe I don't need this one, but we'll see. Uh, but this one is really good. It's a $4 palette too. $4. $4. Yes, exactly. Essence has some amazing palettes for the price. Sorry. I just showed you my whole messy house on the mirror. Um, <laughs> it is, this is so good. These, these shimmers are really beautiful and they just glow. They're not like super bright in your face shimmers, but I, again, when I did looks from this, they're just beautiful, uh, glowy, not, not like what I've got on my eyes where they're like really bright, but they're just pretty and glowy. If you need a cheap green, highly recommend. I recommend everybody get this one. There's another one that I recommend to that point too, that I'll show you in a second. This one I bought as soon as it came out because I needed it in my life. Cause as soon as I saw the color story, I don't get a lot from, from a uh, color pop, but this little baby needed to come and live with me. And so she did Tinkerbell sprinkle a little magic. There she is. You've all seen her. She's so cute. This also is kind of, you know what? Now I'm looking at it. I've got a bunch of colors that are similar. Yeah, this one is actually closer because it's that blue green. Um, and it's more pigmented. So uh, I've not seen that brand over here. What brand are you talking about? Uh, Essence? Because Brett Essence is really nice. You you might be able to order them online. I'm not sure. Uh, but that might, you know, might be a little more costly. But this palette is so pretty. I just, I love this bright green. I like that one. Um, I wish it was more green. You know, there's too much pink going on in here, in my opinion. I don't think they needed both of these. 
If they were going to do that, they could have brightened this one up and or dark deepened this one up. I don't know. Essence is a German brand, right? Isn't it Catrice and Essence? They're the same brand, right? Or am I on crack? I am not on crack, just to get rid of any myths out there. You were disappointed in the Tinkerbell palette. I can see that because unless you are pasty like me, it's it's too light. It really is. Um, it's definitely made for pasty white people. And even I'm on the verge of it. But I just thought it was so pretty. That's all it is. It doesn't perform as great as some others. It's just pretty. So that's why I got it. I do like the... Um, What are they called? Sh color shock? She's good. What are they called? Why can't I think of them? Super shock. I wanted to say color shock. I did say color shock, in fact. Um, this isn't it, but these ones that came with this are, are a little bit better. But yeah, let me Google and check. Yes. Ah, yes, I found it. They sell it over here, too. There you go. Check out, check out this one, because it's really good. I don't know, though. Sometimes what's cheap here might not be cheap there because of imports. The shimmers were not as good as they could be. Oh, yeah. I know. ColourPop just cranks out stuff so quickly. So, um, Solomon Giton. I do not know if I said that correctly, but Essence is easily available in many countries. I believe that. Super shock. Yes, you're right. Shelly Belly Baby. Oh, what a cute name. Hi, Shelly Belly Baby. We're talking about green shadows. Um, yeah, so this one, I just, I got it because it was pretty. It looked cute, and so I got it. And I will continue to use it because it's cute. And it it gives me good looks. It just, you know, it doesn't give me the best, but it gives me good. Now, another one that's uber cheap and so worth it. This palette looks horrendous, by the way, because I've had this for a minute. Oh, it doesn't look as bad there as it does in, in real life. This is the Emeralds palette from Profusion. This is bomb. This is so good. Oh, yeah. Three and four pounds, not bad. Yeah, good. So prices are pretty good over there too. Good, check them out because that uh, Essence palette and all of the ones in that whole series, those are really good. I got it because of the packaging. Same, I got the Tinkerbell because of the packaging. Not this one. I got this because of the color story. Look at this color story. This is kind of the ultimate green palette in my humble opinion. Um, you know, you have these two that are pretty similar. This one's definitely brighter. This one's more grungy. Um, and then you have three golds that are kind of three gold shimmers, which is kind of like, eh, did I need that? But really what gets it, you've got this bright. You, so you've got these two mats here and then this mat. So it really goes both cool and warm. And then you've got these really pretty shimmers in it. This palette is so pretty. This is $5 in the U.S. Five. I love it. This is, some of their other 10 pan palettes are not as good as that. Um, some of them are. They have some pretty good 10 pan palettes, but that one is so good. It's really beautiful. So, highly recommended. In fact, I think I'll be using that this month again. Another one that is not as good as that, but still gives me some really beautiful looks is the Earth and Ocean from e.l.f. If you're going to get an e.l.f. palette, this is one I might recommend it. I don't know if they still have it current. If they do, it might be on sale. Um, but it is a really pretty palette. This is definitely grungy. It looks brighter on camera um, than it does here in my world. Um, this one is, uh, you know, again, kind of this mat here is kind of hard to make it work. Um, and then you've got a lot of kind of mid-tone dusty. A lot of the mats are pretty dusty in here. So mattes are not that great, but some of the shimmers are really nice. Like this one here is beautiful. Um, just the tone, but it also, I mean, that's a nice glowy. It's not, I don't, I don't call it shiny as much. It's more glowy. Um, really beautiful teal. This is a deep teal. So earth and ocean. I like the opposite to track. I don't, do I have opposite to track? I don't have that one. I've got a few of these, but I don't think I have opposites to track. But this is a beautiful palette and one that a lot of people still really enjoy. I enjoy it. I don't love it as much as the Profusion Emeralds, but I do like it. Um, and the fact that there's blue in it. I'm not as into blue eyeshadow. I'm, In case you're wondering, I'm washing my hand because 
because the kitty is eating over my shoulder. So if you hear crunching, that's what that's, that is. Puppy's over here chewing on her blanket because that's what she does when she's bored in the house. <sighs> the kids, the kids, they, they take up my whole life. Um, but yeah, and then this uh, Drip Drip is a bright blue. That's a pretty one. And then Siren is this like um, periwinkle. So there's really beautiful colors in here. Of course, I'm not even telling you, I'm not even showing you the green ones. I'm showing you the blue ones. Um, so there's not a lot. The only green, actual green shimmer, well, besides underwater, which is that teal, is the Sahara. And that's really beautiful too. But I, again, I think that the emeralds profusion maybe is a little bit better. So this isn't as much one that I think is great for the greens, but I think the combination is good. Jasmine Reynolds is with us. Hi, Jasmine Reynolds. Miss um, Charlie loves her blues. Again, a lot of that is skin tone. I keep talking about that, but it's such a thing. It really is such a thing because when I wear blues, it looks like a bruise. When you wear blues, they just glow because you just, and I think partly because it seems to me, tell me if I'm wrong, it could be color, it could be lighting and stuff too who knows um but it looks like you have a yellow undertone and that is complementary to blue but me i have a pink undertone and so it either turns pink purple or it turns like a bruise also when pale people um start to age we get the blue and the you know circles and stuff like that around the eyes and so sometimes it just looks like I'm old. You okay? We good? She's so she's such a diva. She's like, you're not giving me attention. I shall appear in this movie because it's about me. I almost didn't grab this one and then I left saw it and I was like, why didn't I grab that one? This is a really nice teal palette. Revolution. Um they don't get all the recognition that they should. Now, this has two glitters in it, if you're not into that. But these glitters are really pretty. They're both teal. It's um, a very much, you know, smoking weed sort of theme. Yeah, she wants she's on, She wants to be on, on camera. There she is. So you can all say hi to Peanut. So they have a little embossed weed, you know, marijuana leaf in there. I'm not against, you know, whatever. I think it's so dumb that it was illegal in the first place. I was saying that for years. That's one of the reasons that people are like, you're so liberal. And then I was like, actually, I'm not. And then they're like, you're so conservative. And I'm like, actually, I'm not. It's funny because I'm kind of in the middle. Not really broke. I thought you were going to say not really broke. And then I was like, oh, you're not really broke. You're just faking it. You want to share? No, just kidding. Not really broke. So if you're not really broke, then who are you? Are you an imposter? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to our party. Not really, Brooke. Um, yeah, this is a really pretty palette. This one right here is a really nice. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? That is the haze. That's this one right here. That is a stinking pretty color. I have to remember this palette. Man, I'm going to have to throw this on my eyeballs. Maybe I have to wear this one. This. Man. Oh, it actually has three shimmers. This one, too. Um, or not shimmers, glitters, sorry. This dope, that's another really beautiful, I mean, look at that. Oh, this is a gorgeous palette, just saying. There is, it's, it's kind of half neutral, half green. Um, Candyland is the brighter teal, minty teal sort of color. So, um, yeah, if you have a chance to grab this, I think it's still out there and available and whatnot. I think, yeah, I think I got this at Target. Very nice. Uh, gold beige colors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That gold beige. That was, it was like liquid. That was liquid. Now for something that's really neutral, for those of you that are like, I like green, but I'm not into, you know, green. Like, you know, Kermit the Frog just happened all over your face. Um, we'll, 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 we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> This is really nice for an almost neutral, but just a touch of green. This is the Violet Voss. All of you forever. All of you. That just, I feel like I should have a Southern accent when I say that. Um, the only thing that's green is this one and these two shimmers over here. I mean, all of these sh shimmers, but these are really pretty. And I love me some peach color. So I'm going to swatch that peach one because that's beautiful too. And that combination is just really nice. So these are more gold greens. And then this one is that 
olive green. Beautiful. Highly recommended as far as if you're looking for a nice neutral palette with good, good quality um, and a little bit more toned down green. That is a great one. Kermit to happen. I know. It reminded me of what we were talking about the other time when you guys educated me on what that word means that I'm now afraid to use. <sighs> I tried to look it up because I was like, what is the etymology of this word? I'm sure I I heard it before and it didn't mean that. And that was the only origin I, I was able to find. So I'm like, well, I guess apparently I've just been using a naughty word and people are like, what in the world? I, don't, I hope I didn't use it in an inappropriate way situation. Um, and the last of the ones that I've actually, <laughs> guys, sometimes I say things <laughs> that should be my, that should be my catch sign. Hi, I'm Priscilla. And sometimes I say things. <laughs> that's, that's it. Just that. <laughs> Glam light, dirty martini. This, mm. this one and the purple one, they are so good. If you like every, this is like every tone of green. The only thing it doesn't have is absolutely black and green, right? The really deep dark, but it's got, you know, you get into the blues, you get this really fairly dark, you get the bright, you get this almost pastel -y, and then you get all these shimmers that are nicely coordinated with it. This is a beautiful palette. Really, 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 really nice. Very much recommend. Those are the ones that I've actually, the green ones that I've actually tested. I might have a few others that could qualify as green, but these are the most green. Now, some of the ones that I have here are more like they have, they have notable greens in them. So yeah, this glam light, beautiful. Okay. So let's start with this pile over here, which is actually what's on my face. Um, and it's not Kermie the frog. <laughs> Ooh, if certain people got happen to get across this, the, my videos and this channel and whatnot, they would be like, woman, what in the world is wrong with you? Um, I'm so ashamed of you. I can't believe I know you. Um, so we're going to talk about this right now, which is basically, this is my drugstore esque. So it's not that you can get everything from drugstore, but they're all kind of drugstore, um, priced. This one is what's on my face right now. So when I do a palette, I, I'd use it for three days. I take pictures, I document it. And my husband's like, why are you taking pictures? He's now, he's now used to it, but this is what's on my face. It is beautiful. Now, one thing about this, I have hooded eyes, um, as you've probably seen. And so I usually use a tacky base. I use this one from AOA studio. I need to try the next one because I know that's really reputable, but this one's really good. I don't have I used to get creasing all the time with, with, um, shimmers and so until I started using this, but this one, when I got this and the other one, the, the blue and purple one that they just came out with like last, late last year, not the book of magic, but the other one. Um, I put it on my eyes with that and it creased like crazy. And I was like, what in the world? So this, I don't have any tacky base on my eyes and let me check. Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Um, there's, there's just the slightest, it's not, I won't even call it creasing. It's just like, it's kind of wearing in a little bit of a line, but you have to look really close, um, to see it right now. Other than that, the colors look great. So say mine are hooded too, and I'm loving the look you have on today. Good. So I just kind of think of, so basically what I did with this is I thought of what colors I want to put together. I used moss, I used lime, and I used ray, which is actually that light green on the inner corner. It looks like uh, beige here, but it's not, or like a, you know, a champagne color. It's not, it's much more green. Um, and I just put it, you know, I put this on the outside and then I put the, the lime in the middle and, and, you know, I put them on with a brush and then I put them on, I kind of reintensify with my finger. And I know that they're going to blend together because every time I lift up my eyes, it just disappears, right? You can't see anything. And so every time I blink or I lower my eyebrows, I'm very expressive, if you haven't noticed, with my eyebrows. So they are constantly going up and down. So everything is going to mix. So I just make sure that the lines are all um, vertical. And that way, when they when they blend, they blend naturally this way. Instead of, 
I can't put another uh, shimmer on top of the other one otherwise, unless it's above where they, you know, where it meets, if that makes sense. They are very quite creamy. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would call them cream shadows, but they are pretty creamy. I mean, you can see when I push down into the pan, um, they do indent, but I wouldn't call them creamy. I mean, I wouldn't call them cream shadows, if that makes sense. I don't know. Are you getting the new one? Already bought it. Both of the big ones, the purple and the green. I mean, Miss Charlie, do you have to ask me if I'm going to buy a purple palette? Really? And I looked at the nine pan and I was like, hmm. And I looked at the 16 pan and I was like, hmm. And I looked at the big one and I was like, okay, I got it. I got it. I got to do it. Got to do it. So, yes, I did order both the new ones, the big green one and the big purple one because green is my favorite, or purple is my favorite color, green is my second favorite color. So, and I really do like this. Now that I figured out that I can't use a tacky base, it's beautiful. Erin the edgy chick. I love Erin the edgy chick. Erin the edgy chick, you make me so happy every time I see your pictures. You're the most adorable thing in the world. And you are my muse when it comes to fashion. One of them, but a major one. Every time I see you put like very unlikely things together, I'm like, how cute. Why didn't I think of that? Only into small palettes at the moment. That's why I think it was so cool that they did the three sizes. Um, because somebody who's like a maximum, maximum, maximalist, maximalist like me, <laughs> or I just, I need all the colors. I, you know, of course we're going to get the, what is it? 42, um, colors, but anybody who's a minimalist can get the nine pans and those are cute too. Um, then they have the red ones too. Those are just not just, I was just, I was just not vibing with them. So, um, anyway, this is on my face right now. I will use it for one more day and then in the next week or two, you'll start seeing some uh, pictures posted. Then this one just showed up. I unpacked this when I showed you my AOA studio shop Miss A haul. This is their fairy garden eyeshadow in Willow. Willow is the, the color. They have four of these together. Um, there's only one matte and that's a little bit weird because like, I don't know. It does look like it's pretty pigmented, but I just can't imagine, like, that's, it's swatch on the back of my hand. Let me see if I can build that up. So I just don't know. It does build up, actually, pretty nicely. Uh, it's definitely pastel -y. And actually, now that it's building up, it almost looks satiny. So that's interesting. But it is building up a little bit. The shimmers are pretty, but I don't think that they're that notable. In fact, I think the Profusion palette would be a better bet. But I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how it was. And I figured I'd throw this in here. I'm, I was thinking of maybe putting this in my monthly basket as a additive sort of palette. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. Here's a small palette for you, Miss Charlie. You want it? I'll send it to you. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I feel like I want to use it and see how it is. but Because I haven't used it. I barely just stuck my fingers in it. Um. Let me, let me actually just swatch those, those shimmers. They do, well, that one's not, it's okay, but it's kind of, they're not bad. They're, they're kind of pretty. I mean, they're pretty, but it's just, it's not that they're, I mean, they're nice. I just have better. So they're, they're not very um, opaque. So you would kind of have to put a, an opaque base underneath them or something. Anybody else have this? AOA. I know AOA Studio is doing a lot of these smaller palettes. Um, I have this one that's going into our monthly basket, which is also from my AOA, and it's a little bit smaller. So they've gotten bigger in their palettes and whatnot. They also have some four pans like the Elf. So speaking of Elf, what the Elf? Isn't that their, like, their, their catchphrase now? What the Elf? Or Elfing. Oh, you look Elfing beautiful. That's what it is. Um, I'm looking on the website right now. I just ordered two of the new... JD Glow Multicrumbs. Whose website are you looking at? JD Glow Multicrumbs. I, you know, I just, singles, I don't get to them. I try to get to them and I just don't. So that's why I haven't done a lot. I need to put them in a nice palette. And then that's the reason I didn't get your, didn't get your bundle or the other ones. Because I'm like, I, am I, and I'm, am I going to use them? That kitty cat palette though, that is cute. That's cute. Anyway, 
Um, so this is the other mint. This is the um, chocolate mint that came in that bundle. This is a lot better in my opinion because you've got the neutral so you can kind of put the base down. And this is that, you know, kind of go to um, champagne-y sort of neutral. And then have the one mint. And I think that makes much more sense um, than, than the other one. I haven't done three looks with this one because I just haven't been inspired to pick it up like that. But this this uh, one right here is really pretty. Um, other than that, it's a pretty neutral palette. I don't know. We'll see. AOA, yeah. They yeah, they have some cute little little mini guys like this. So I love AOA Studio, by the way. There, I think I might do a full face of AOA at some point because I have definitely a whole face. Linda's with us. Yay. Another one of my beauties from across the pond. So we've got Japan represented. We've got uh, Dubai. Oh my goodness. I had to think about it. And now we've got Linda. Linda, where are you? Netherlands? Germany? I forget. Linda, tell me where you're from. I know you're from Europe, but I can't remember what country. I'm trying to keep everybody straight. And then the one that Miss Charlie talked about, this one's bomb. This is the jalapeno. I should go to bed. This was so much fun. I love greens. Thank you so much. You're in the, oh yeah, okay. Queen of the beauty blogs in the UK. Uh, and Linda's only here for a few minutes. Well, that's okay. We like when you pop in because it's fun. Netherlands, see, I knew it was one of those I Germanic countries. Is the Netherlands considered a Germanic country? It's like half French. I don't know. Netherlands is like in the middle there, right? <laughs> kind of like, uh, in, yeah, trying to stay neutral, but just surrounded by all these bullies. <laughs> ah, fun times. Uh, so yeah, this is a really beautiful palette. This is kind of that same army green. And then you got the brighter grass green and then these two shimmers here. Beautiful palette. If you need a good elf bite size and you like greens, this is a good one. So um, I haven't done the three looks with that either. I just don't reach for the little palettes. I am the opposite of Miss Charlie. So good night, uh, queen of the beauty blog. Thank you so much for coming in. And then feel free to, I'll put this on my, on my um, profile so you can come in and watch and see the rest of it if you'd like to. So, um, but yeah, great to have you here. Get some sleep. You need your sleep. Um, Revolution Beauty, another Revolution Beauty. I picked this up, I think, from, oh, it says on the back, TJ Maxx for $3.99. This is the Reloaded Deep Dive Palette. It's not that green. It's more gray and blue, but there's enough green in it. I feel like it kind of goes that way with the teals and then those bright green. Um, and then this one's here kind of like a chartreuse. So I thought, well, this one kind of makes sense. And I need to use this at some point before I decide if I want to keep it. I haven't, I haven't felt inspired for this either because Revolution hasn't super impressed me except those little tin ones. Those are pretty good quality. Some of the color stories are a little bit bizarre and I think that's why they haven't had the success that they might have otherwise had. But yeah, we'll see. Um, and then I have to show you both of these. Um, these are both the Hey Hey VK. You all know I love me some LA Girl. They are so good, so good. Um, and they have the other ones, the new ones that just came out. They could qualify here too, but I just figured I'd show you a couple. This palette, these greens right here are fantastic. And to me, this is very springy, summery when you put in these bright colors. Um, it is, I think, was it was designed to come out during the fall. Um, and again, for pale people like me, these would be pretty bright. But if you're, you've got anybody that's, I mean, which I think is, at least half of the people that joined me on here um, are probably my skin tone are darker. Um, and so these are going to be a lot more almost neutral for you. And this will be a pretty subtle, but oh my goodness, these, the quality of these are just, is just outstanding. These shimmers are so nice. Um, oops, let me smooth that one out because that one came off a little chunky some of these are chunky but that then they perform so well once you smooth them out they're just gorgeous so i love look at those ah! 
I love their shimmer formula. So beautiful. Um, no, I'm not really pale, but compared to much of the world, compared to half the world, I am. So um, compared to, you know, European world, I'm not, but the, you know, that's not the majority of the world. So, <laughs> and compared to the majority of the, the world that I have lived in, um, I'm usually the palest person or one of the paler people in my whatever company I'm in, whether it's, um, you know, where I live or usually where I live, where I work. I just tend to, to not hang out with a lot of pale, pale skin people, pale face. Um, and then this is the other one there. So this is much more bright and tealy, but kind of applies to, I wouldn't probably use this one, but I might use this. But we'll see because um, I only have so many eyes and there's only 30 days in a month approximately. And um, I am using each one for three times. So that's only 10 palettes. If you can get the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Collection. And you know what? I was hoping I'd find that at Marshall's. It didn't happen. My sister-in-law works at Marshall's and I asked her to keep an eye open. But she's going to be going on vacation for a little bit. So uh, compared next to our husbands, we are very, very pale. Well, not me. My husband is not very pale. Um, he is the opposite of me in many different ways, but also skin tone is definitely one. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, my husband's a, is quite dark. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. Don't tell him I said that. He's in the other room. He might be hearing me. I don't think so. Pistachio BH palette is bomb. bomb. Yes, I have heard that. And I've looked at it and I was like, do I need another one? I also like the one that has like the purples, but there's only like one or two purples in that and the rest are pinks. And I'm like, I'm not that into pinks. So I don't know. But yeah, um, so my husband, he was like, my eyes are not that great and I can't see when it's close. And I was like, oh, I got you on that. So I went to the dollar store because I'm a big spender. And, um, oh yeah, compared to our husbands, we are, oh, I was, I said you are not very pale. Yes, right, exactly. Compared to my husband, yes, I am very pale. You're correct. I was reading that backwards. Um, anyway, so I went to the dollar store and I got these cute little aviators. It's kind of like, you know, narrow profile, but they're reading glasses, but they have a little double, double, um, bridge aviator, aviator thing. Um, silver, just cute, but they're a dollar 25 because now Dollar Tree is a dollar 25 instead of one dollar. And so, um, brought them to him and he's like, oh, I need to go to the eye doctor and stuff. I said, just try it. Just put them on. He put them on and he was like, oh, wow. <laughs> he's like, I can see. <laughs> and he's like, wow. <laughs> so he was like so impressed because he could actually look at, you know, he didn't have to hold his phone way out here and stuff to see it. Um, he thought it was, he had a major problem. And I'm like, this is just normal. You're over 40. This is normal. He looks so cute in them. So cute. Oh my goodness. He looks like a little businessman or like, I shouldn't say little, he's not little, but he looks like a businessman or like, you know, some sophisticated lawyer or something like, oh, oh, he's so cute. I love glasses. Mm. Mm. Tall, dark, and handsome with glasses. Mm. 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 I don't know. Okay. I got to calm down. I got to calm down. I'm getting excited. All right. So let's talk about the, uh, we'll do this. We'll talk about the three piles uh, that are the same brand. Hubby is the opposite of me too. I know we're always doing that, right? You call, always, always call your husband your Nubian king. Yeah. I just call mine Rudy because that's his name <laughs> or babe or baby or Wamwe, which means my king or um, what else do I call him? Maimwe, which means my husband or sometimes I call him naughty words when I'm mad at him. Eight years younger than you, minus three years younger than me. Not quite as much, but um, so okay. First of all, beer, 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 beer. Uh, this is Uden's eye. Oh my goodness, makeup desk 83 is with us. Makeup desk, you just joined in time because we are now going through Uden's eye, and they're so good. We're talking about green palettes, and I'm going to show you three from Uden's eye that are just great. Katrina, Katarina. Katarina Bizetto. Is that uh, Italian? Bizetto, right? With the with the dopa. Um, yours is 15 years younger than you. Oh my goodness, we're all cradle robbers. Look at us. 
milfs. <laughs> ah, or or uh, cougars, right? Girl, kind of jealous. What what are you jealous of? Are you jealous of my husband? Or are you jealous of my husband's eye? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I use this one. Oops. Let's put it up right side up. Put it on my face. So it looks like my eyes. I use this one for three looks and oh my goodness. They were so pretty. The first one I decided I wasn't going to do any green because it's so beautiful green. So I use this one, which is like this incredibly deep blackened plum color. And then I use this color. Oh my goodness. It was so pretty. So pretty. He says he keeps me young. Yeah, they think that. They make us old. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Odin's Eye. Oh, this one right here, so good. It's just, oh, it's so good. Anyway, you will see the, did I, I didn't post these yet, did I? I don't think that I posted these yet. If, no, I didn't. I'm not there yet. But I will have these posted pretty soon. Is that creepy? When I put it just like that and you see it and it looks like my eyes. Oh, I got to do it for YouTube. Hi, YouTube. That, that does look creepy. Um, <laughs> anyway, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. He has the gray hair, not me. Mine has a gray beard. It's so cute, but he keeps dyeing it because he doesn't want it to be gray. I'm like, it's cute. I like gray hair. I think gray hair is sexy too. Gray hair and glasses. Mm. Um, Saga of Freya. This is the chapter two, Cat with the Golden Carriage. And this one I nabbed when I got the... Um, Angelica palette because here's the thing. I'm going to show you the, the other one that I have from the series. Oops. One and then just stuff. So this is the two-sided one from the Freya collection. And the reason it took me so long to get these, because when this came out, I was like, ooh, Odin's eye. And I love them. But you see how similar this is to this, especially this side. Why are these not one palette? I don't understand. Those oranges are really similar, and even the greens are quite similar. They should It should be one palette, and I feel like they just kind of, like, hacked them apart into three instead of... I don't, under, I don't understand this. The colors are beautiful. I just wish it was a little bit... It made a little more sense. Because this... This should have been two palettes, right? Like, one of these berry tones... Excuse you, rainbow. Um, and one of these, like, green and orange tones. That would have made more sense. But instead... I mean, it would have made more sense to me to have a bigger palette with this. That looks like one palette. I mean, it almost looks identical. Look at these two here and those oranges and then the green. I think when Udenzai made this collection, I think they were smoking something. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I still love them. It's, I'm not judging them. Sweet Nana is with us. Hi, Nana. How are you? Um, he looks older than me. I'm 53 and he is 45. I think people think my husband's older than me too. He's not. It was funny because the, the kid that was asking me about the stars on my eyes, the, um, when we were, we had the reservation kids over, um, yesterday and he was like, you live with him? And I was like, yeah, he's my husband. He's like, yeah, but do you live with him? I'm like, yeah, he's my husband. <laughs> I mean, that's usually how the marriage arrangement works, right? He's like, okay. And then he was like, um, said something. Oh, he's like, do you have kids? And I said, no. And he's like, why not? And I said, because we're old. And he's like, how old are you? And I was like, how old do you think I am? I, I always like to do that with the kids because they're like, because they're honest. Like adults will be like, oh, you just look like you're 28. You know, you know, they're lying, right? And he was like, I don't know, 30. I was like, come on. And he's like 35. And I was like, you think I'm TJ's age? TJ is our pastor. He's like 35 years old. And he, I'm like, you think I'm TJ's age? Um, and he's like, yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm 46. And he was like, you are old. <laughs> but they always think I'm younger. So, uh, nice color on your eyes. Thank you. Thanks, Nana. I love Nana's look. She, oh, girl, you got to put so much time into those looks. I, I just, I can't do it. I love to do makeup, but I just can't put that much time into it. Not consistently. Once in a while I can. But anyway, I thought this was such a uh, springy and different, a different sort of green palette. So I thought this deserved an honorary mention um, if you're looking for a green. But the star of this, or the current hype, I should say, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss you guys. I always win the carnival game when they guess your age. 
Yeah, right. I know that I don't think they would. Yeah, you would. Miss Charlie, she looks younger than me and she's older than me. It's ridiculous. Did you see the new cheese palette? The color scheme is so off. Cheese palette? Who did the cheese palette? Revolution cheese palette? Oh, I haven't seen it. Uh, your friend had a baby at 48. You know what? My husband and I were just talking about that. So I have PCOS and that's part of the thing. I've had three miscarriages and then I, um, there is, there's something about, yeah, there's the people that just have a baby when they're 48. And that's one thing. I know somebody who started having kids when she was 40 or 45 and then she had six kids. Uh, <laughs> like seriously, I mean, that's crazy. But, and so my husband and I were talking about it. I'm like, should I actually even ask the doctor? Oh my goodness. I went to the doctor. Oh, I hate doctors even more now. Um, anyway, and I was just like, ah, oh, man. So I asked my husband, I'm like, should I even talk to the doctor? He's like, you know, well, you're 46 now. And he's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, so the, the chances are slim, but there's a chance. But on the other hand, if you go through the process, it can be excruciating just to go through the process. And then it's exhausting for one. It, it can be very costly. And then you're just kind of this emotional roller coaster. And I'm like, I mean, I'm already dealing with the fertility issues. They were, they were dedicating babies at church and then, and then that topic kept coming up and I was just like, I was squirming. I don't usually, not, not much gets me, but that's one thing that it, that's it, especially hard right now because I'm, I'm in what I call post fertility. So it's kind of like. A really slim chance right now. Yes, they did a cheese palette. So dumb. The blue is called Parm Parmesan, not blue cheese. Why would blue be called Parmesan? Maybe they don't. Maybe Revolution doesn't know about cheese. Maybe I need to bring them to, to to Wisconsin so they can understand what cheese really is. I know the problem. I had five miscarriages and I have ovulation problems now and have one 19 year old. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. You know. You know how I feel. Kind of, but you do have a 19 year old. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's, and then you get things. I was having a conversation with my mom and she's like, well, you guys can just adopt. And I was like, wait, 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 stop. Adoption is not a consolation prize. And adoption does not replace giving birth, getting pregnant, giving birth, making a child with the person that you love and want to spend the, I mean, it's not the same thing, right? Um, I know it's kind of, it's kind of crazy because like my friends, my best friends have like almost adult kids. It's, it's, it's bizarre. Um, but yeah, so I was like, wait, mom, like, yes, we can adopt and we're, you know, we're talking about that, but it's, it's, it's not a consolation prize and it doesn't replace having a child. And so I hate when people do that. They're, they like, oh, well, you can just adopt. It's not the same. It's not the same. There's so many components of getting pregnant and having the child and all of that, you know, breastfeeding and all of that sort of thing and seeing yourself in that child that you don't get when you adopt. And you have to be prepared. When people have their own children and they adopt, that's a different situation. When you cannot have your own children and you adopt, you have to get yourself in the mental state to just, you know, still, I mean, that child is your child. But it's not, I mean, and then there's people who choose to adopt rather than having kids. And that's a different thing too. But those that cannot, that's a whole different thing. So <sighs> also good things about it, giving a reject. That's the thing is, you know, let me find one of these mothers that cannot or will not, you know, give their, their, I am very, very, very much pro-life, very much. Um, and absolutely, you know, I would, I would love to be able to give uh you know a baby a chance and give a mother a chance that's the thing too is because i do not care what the pro-choice people say abortion is devastating and it will mess you up it will mess you up it it is i mean it's scientifically proven that it will mess you up psychologically if not physically but psychologically it messes you up and um i mean I, there's exceptions but there's a lot of emotional issues with it and if I can help a mother to not have to go through that, but still know that her child is being taken care of and, and being loved and being raised and all of that. Great. 
Um, I know what you mean. I never could breastfeed because my son was born with cleft palate. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a whole nother, a whole nother thing. Yeah. My, my mom had some health issues. She, she was pregnant 10 times, had seven babies. So, um, yeah, there's definitely good. Thing. My, my husband and I were having a kind of an emotional conversation just before I started this. So uh, about it, because we have different ideas. Uh, culturally, there's different ideas in Haiti. There's some stigma with adopting. Um, adopting is often looked at as kind of, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, when you adopt, a, a, when a Haitian adopts a Haitian, oftentimes it's as a rest addict. So it's not real adoption. They take the, the child into their home and that child is essentially their servant until that child turns 16 or 18 years old and then they get kicked out. So they're not actually their, their child. And so it's looked at like, oh, that's not your child. They're there to, to be your servant. And so he resists because of that stigma. But he also resists because there's a lot known about the adoption industry in Haiti. And I and I hate to say this because there's some very well-meaning people that have adopted internationally. But most of those kids that are adopted have families. Most of them. And they're uh, taken from their families either by manipulation or by just theft. Um, or, you know, forgery. Different kinds of things. And... Um, that whole industry, international adoption, is huge money, and it's um, it's not on the up and up much of the time. And and Haitians know this because they know the kids that have been taken, and they know what's going on because they see it around them all the time. And so it's like a trendy thing. Oh, go to Africa, go to Haiti, go to you know Korea and adopt adopt a child. And that especially was a you know a big thing. To, 15 years ago when a lot of people were doing that, they didn't people. And the thing is people didn't know. And so it's not like they did that intentionally trying to steal the children from them. It was happening locally. And it was with these organizations, missions groups that were, yeah, it was, a, it's a black market. That's what it is. It's a baby black market. And they, and the, the funny thing is you see many times they have the most beautiful babies because they shop for the most beautiful babies. And then they go to the parents and say, oh, you know what? You'll, we'll send this child to, to the United States. They'll get a, they'll get a good, good career. They'll get a good education. And then they can help you. And they can bring you over there. Well, that child doesn't even know who their parents are. So a lot of it is just theft. Yeah, in Africa, they just steal the babies from the homes. They steal the babies or they, the, you know, the parents are illiterate or illiterate in that language. So like in, in Haiti, they, you know, everybody speaks Creole. Very, 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 very few speak French. And all the documents are in French. So they have no idea what they signed. It's absolutely infuriating. So he has that in his mind too, because he's like, you know, I, like he wants to know where the baby comes from, which I understand. You don't want to just, you don't, a Haitian wouldn't go to an, a Haitian orphanage and adopt because they know what really happens. And it's, it's so, it, it's so painful, not only because it's, I mean, the child grows up thinking, oh, I was adopted and whatnot. And, hey, great. What, you know, that, that's their life. And the parents, the adopted parents, they don't know what, almost never do they know what's happening. But the birth parents and the families, mm, the, the pain that they can go through just when they realize that that child's not coming back, that, that you lost that child. And, you know, and it's not going to be an opportunity for you know you to get to the united states or you know a better and that's many times that's what they're they're enticed with is you know this child is going to go there being raised by american family and then later you know and it, yeah what about a surrogate mom then is it's still your baby because of um yeah and that depends on if my eggs are viable or not and that's what i was asking i was like should i, I was asking my husband i'm like should i get the doctor to test because a few years ago they were i was they were very healthy so there would, be, there would be that possibility or not necessarily just a surrogate, but in vitro. So they could actually um, artificially um, fertilize the egg and then replant it inside me. Um, and that could be a possibility, but those treatments are expensive too. And we just, we don't have that money. So, and, it, and the thing is with his job, he actually gets money for adoption. So that's what I was like, but, but I'm like, we have to be on the same page with this. Like we, we really have to be on the same page because, I mean, this is this is a major, not only is a major deal, but it's a major deal for that child. That child has to know that that they were absolutely wanted, not a consolation prize. Um, yeah. What about a surrogate? Yeah. Uh, sur should I do a, should I do a, 
GoFundMe for it. I will not support GoFundMe because they do not support free speech. You may or may not like what the truckers are doing up in Canada. Are they still up in Canada? I don't even know. I'm not paying attention. You might not like what they're doing, but it's their right. And it is not GoFundMe's right to decide who can and cannot be funded. I will not use them, but there might be other places. Um, Hella, Odinzai and Angela, I have not even swatched this one, but you've seen it everywhere. I'm kind of tired of it. Does anybody else have that? <laughs> it's kind of the same thing that happened with the Club Nebula, which is actually here too. Um, because it's like, by the time you get it, everybody has it. Everybody's posted it. I'm not going to show you guys swatches. I'm not, because you've already seen them. Why do you need to see mine? Mine aren't even that great of quality. The picture's not, I mean, no, it is, it's a nice palette, but it is, and I heard somebody else say this too, and I was like, yeah, it, this, this is all mid-tone. There's no depth on the green. I mean, this is the deepest you get. I don't, I don't know. I feel like a, like a really like ashy brown or an ashy gray or black would have been great. I mean, hello, it's death. Why wouldn't you have a black in there? Um, I don't get the pink with the theme. Maybe I would get red. See, that's look at the front. This is red. That's not pink. So why is the color? I did get the scarf with it. I haven't opened it. I'm considering giving using it as a giveaway. Oops. That's what I'm wiping my, my brushes off. Hi, kitty. Um, yeah, I got this. I'm thinking of using it as a giveaway, but I also might tie it around a, a bag that I have. I don't know. I haven't decided. If you get your chance or opportunity to do it, do it. <sighs> Steph, Stephilani. Stephil. Yeah, is it Stephilani? Hi, welcome. So, um, yeah, we were talking about infertility and now we're talking about palettes because, you know, we do that. We just go back and forth. And my kitty, she likes to be part of the party too. So she comes and hangs out. Um, yeah, so this, I, I mean, here's the thing. I'm going to judge this. And it's not, it's not because I do, you know, I do have some like personality click clashes with um, Angelica because I, I just, certain things that she does, I'm just like, mm, that's kind of two-faced, but you know, I mean, I'll, Hey, I don't really care. I'll talk to anybody like that. I'll even say that about myself. If I do something that's a little bit like inconsistent, I'm going to be like, yeah, that was kind of hypocritical. Um, cause that's just how I am. Valencia Moreno is with us. Or should I say Moreno? <laughs> Make it a Spanish accent, right? Um, so and welcome ladies. Welcome those of you that are here. We're talking about green palettes and this happened to be the one that came up. It's a beautiful palette and I'm really interested in getting into it, but I just, I wish there was a red because that's what all of this is, right? I don't, I don't understand the pinks. What it is, um, here odd 62, 62 T E H is with us. Sorry. I'm, I'm like having a little mini burp. I'm apologize for that. My husband is going to Gambia and he's going to buy the Clomid. I'm telling you, that's what I used in Haiti. Okay. Um, yes, I highly recommend. Okay. Let me, let me say this carefully. If you have PCOS or you have other fertility issues, that is what I used in Haiti. I have never had regular periods. Never. I had my period since I was eight years old. And that sometimes I would have my period for six months. Sometimes I would not have my period for more than six months. Absolutely ridiculous. And I went to Haiti. They put me on their, their version of Clomid, which is a progesterone, right? You take it, I think at the third or the fifth day of your cycle, you take it for five days. And it's at different, different dosages and stuff like that. Um, and in Haiti, once they're prescribed, as long as you know the name of it, you can go to the pharmacy and just ask for it. And it's over the counter. Um, so yeah, that is, um, that got me regular. I took it for almost a year. I self-medicated followed my own thing. I have been regular ever since then. Highly recommended. Illegal Baker is with us. Hi, Illegal Baker. What are you illegally baking? The only thing I know about baking illegally is meth, but I think that, I don't think that's baking. I think that's cooking. That's different. So please don't be cooking, but you could be illegally baking like some, some happy, uh, um, brownies or something like that. My phone is telling me that my battery's low, so I better hurry up this up. 
Okay, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you said fifth, and I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, I think it's pretty. I think it's cute. I don't know which one of these I'm going to use, but I will be using one of the in the pile. I think it probably. Oh wait, it was. Never mind. I know what I'm using in this. I already used it. So um, the Unzai, the Hello Palette will probably be after that. Okay, let's get through this before my phone dies. If it dies in the middle, it's been nice knowing you. Um, so let's let's talk about what just came uh, because you're going to want to know this. I know you're going to want to know this. Sugar Drizzle. Honey, they are, they they got something going on. So I fell in love with them when they had their Pizza Kitty palette, and I said, I need that. And then they have the Pickle palette, and my goodness, green, you need this. This is so good. You get the pink and the and the, and the purple, and they're like duo, multi-ish, whatever, shifts. So good, awesome. Lifestyle of Soma is here. Hi, Lifestyle of Soma. I am going to go through, like, fast forward on this because my phone's about to die. Um fantabulous but i just got these two the butterfly palette was a misprint it's upside down i don't care because it's the same thing so there there's the front right and then it opens backwards um but that's kind that's okay lots of green in there teals and green so that's why i wanted to include that in here it's got the plastic top let me take that off um gorgeous and of course purples so i needed this in my life i still want to try the sigil inspired and stacy alex stacy alex i don't know stacy alex uh sigil inspired i do want to try them too and i'm a little concerned that there might be some sort of a embargo uh is that happening yet with russia i don't know uh, i thought about getting the butterfly one yeah it was like 20 or 25 dollars um because it was a misprint and I said, give it to me. I also bought this when these were released and I bought it with this. Let me show you. This is one of the multi-chrome. And I was like, I'm just going to try it. Girl, this, you're not going to see the shift. I don't think, but this, oh my goodness. You can't even see it. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's like a peach red, gold, pink. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I need all of these. In Incredible. Teresa's dad says, said these are good. And she says a lot of things that I can't repeat. And when I do repeat them, I get into trouble. However, that was not a lie. Uh, Stacy Alex is also Russian. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to check and see if we've got embargoes going on or whatever. I mean, our president is a ninny, so who knows? Um, complete waste of four years. Uh, I don't like pressed glitters. These aren't glitters. Which ones were glitters? These are all, these aren't glitters. These are just um, shimmers and dual crumbs and multi-crumbs. And then, Dragonfly, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Again, it's not super green, but the blue, yellow, green, to me that makes the whole thing kind of go green unless you intentionally stay with the blues. But you really kind of can't because the mats are black, green, and this orangey yellowish sort of color. So Novi Aljana is with us. Did I miss somebody? I feel like I missed somebody. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, welcome. So these are gorgeous. I do not know which one I'm going to try, but I think I might go with the pickle palette because I haven't used it yet, even though. Yeah, these are, um, let me, let me swatch those sparkly ones for you. So you can see they're just these are the ones that look like glitters. They're not. Do you see? Do you, do you see? Do you see what I see? I love those types of colors. Yes. These are phenomenal. And she's a sweetheart. So I sent her a message after I got the first one. And I said, I'm going to buy the Dragonfly too. Can you hold the first one and ship them all together? And she's like, yeah. She's like, let me know when you when you buy the Dragonfly. Send me the, the order number. And I'll, credit, I'll refund you back the shipping for both orders. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, anyway, phenomenal. And these, these pencils, mm, and they stay like it stayed. I washed my hands. It still stayed. So you have to really work at it to get it off. Gorgeous. Okay. <sighs> Juvia's place. Love me some Juvia's place. Um, if you want some small, I mean, I know Miss Charlie already has these. Uh, small green palettes. You can't go wrong. These are both absolutely gorgeous. Mint. This is so much better than the elf ones. Phenomenal. I do wish there was a little bit more difference between these two. Um, because most of your looks are going to be kind of similar with this, but they're gorgeous. 
this is really pretty and that's actually really nice together these you can you can combine these two palettes beautifully um which i might do i don't know and then the Alori. i'm not gonna get to my to my basket i don't think today because my phone's gonna die um the Alori is i thought it was a lot different but this is actually much more teal and these are more green you can't really tell that here but they are pretty different and then this is more of an orange and this is more of a pink and that's a shimmer. So I thought it was going to be very similar to their, the Christmas one that they came out with, but it's really not that similar to it. And then I got these two of their nine pans that I thought would be good um, representatives of green palettes. So this has that whole middle row is green. And then you have the cool tone and the warm tone, um, which I think is really great. And then this is um, the, this is the one that I fought to try to get the, the tri palette. Um, it's the one that I fought to try to get and finally got a slightly swatched one, but not used. Um, gorgeous. It's so pretty. So yeah, those are two really great green leaning. We're getting there. We're getting there guys. Uh, okay. So then let's, okay, let's do the high ish end. We'll look at that. I'm trying to say the best to last, but I also don't want to miss it or a deep dipper deeper mint but yeah exactly a deeper mint would be great um okay huda beauty this is the emerald obsessions i got this from boxy i think really cute greens and a, really a nice range because you've got that pastel mint and then you've got the darker teal and then you've got like this um camo-ish sort of color those are the only mattes right yeah three mattes and then the rest are all quite a range of shimmers. So I think this is going to be a really nice room to work with. I think this might be one I have to, again, I have to pick and choose because I've only got enough to do 10 in the month. So, uh, the tribe palette is gorgeous. Viseart, their little petite, petit potois. And this is only these two greens here, but that to me, that's enough green to kind of make it a notably green leaning springy because you get the pur the purpley colors and then these kind of like neutral, bright, neutral, pink leaning I think it's such a cute palette for spring if you're looking green leaning but not super super green i threw this one in here because it's tealish but i think that is representative of green here not a ton but of course the purples you know you can't, can't go wrong with that but i thought this would be a nice a uh, little bit different there's what four kind of greenish colors in here um but yeah so oh, we're, we're getting through them guys we're getting through them and had to throw this one in because it has enough green leaning also and i need to use it so this is the sydney grace Natalia. you get these two greens here this little greenish color and then that's will go really nicely with the greens um and then you'll get a lot of neutrals and stuff like that beautiful for spring nice i've got to do it from that from beauty glazed from ally express the quality is so good do not expect that from ally i have not gotten anything from ally express so we'll see. Uh, basically, from each of these categories, I'm going to use two. And then I'm already using the one from Uden's Eye. I already used the one from the Wilderness, is what, which is one that I used before. No, one for the drugstore, my drugstore pile. And then I'll use one from Juvia's Place and one from one from Sugar Drizzle, other than that, if that makes sense. But you guys will see what, I, what I've got for the, week, for the month. Um, ABH, this is the subculture palette. Uh, not a ton of green, but you get this little kind of greeny sort of um, neutral, and then you get this one, and you get this one. So I thought that kind of was one of their more green leaning palettes, and also this kind of goldy color is it kind of leans that way. So Panning Alley is with us. Hi, Panning Alley. We are fast forwarding through this to try to get through, and um, yeah, I love green and purple together, or pink and green. Yes, I love green and purple together. One of my faves. So those are my high end ish sort of pile. Last but not least is my indie. This basically was custom made for me, or at least I like to say that because I said, so this is from Pout and Shout. She's so good. She's incredible. So she upcycles her stuff and everything is one of a kind. Uh, well, she does press some like singles and stuff like that and is doing more of that. Forever Fashion is here. Hi, Forever Fashion. We're talking about cuteness. Look how cute it is. Um, and so look at the little lily pad and little froggy. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So she took a revolution 
palette and upcycled it. She wrote the names on the bottom. Here's what it looks like. I will be using this. This one in the middle is kind of a highlighter. It's so cute. It's so cute. I mean, the packaging itself is priceless. Look at that. So she, I basically said, you need to do a green, uh, a, a froggy themed one. And this came up, she posted this like two weeks later and that it said, there you go. And tag me in it. I was like, honey, he's mine. So another green froggy theme. This one is from Metamorphosis. I have gotten a couple of palettes that I wasn't super impressed from them, but I love their color stories and I love their little animal themes and stuff. So I thought this is really cute. Um, so another froggy inspired have not used it. So I don't have much of an opinion. I have used this one and this is phenomenal. So these three that I'm going to show you here and the final three are basically, um, uh, how do I say, it? um, they are not predominantly green, but they have nice, great quality pops of green that I think are really good. And actually they're comparable in many ways. So this is the Serenity palette. Um, and this is the Annette's makeup corner with Menagerie. Oh, this is what it looks like. And you've got the greens here and then the blues and the yellows and stuff just go with it. So incredibly beautiful and this beautifully, not beautiful. And this is so perfect for spring. So yeah, Perception palette, the basic B, perception palette. Oh, I gotta be careful because one of these is loose. I'm gonna re-glue that in. I realized because it just rattled when I did that. The greens in here, you can, they're not, here's the thing, there's only two greens, well, three greens, including this light shimmer here. But it seems like it's a green palette, does it not? And that's because you got like this tealish blue with all the greens and you've got the yellow and you've got the blue here and you've got the, you know, yellowy orange there. Whoop. So I feel like it seems more green than it actually is, but it is a nice palette. And I'm unpopular opinion. I think this is what this wanted to be. This got so much hype. And let me, let me just be um, transparent about this. I am harder on this palette because it was so hyped up. I don't think it, Here's the thing. Angelica is a, is incredible at hyping. Um, she's very, very good with PR. And so she's able to do hype behind these things. And she she's really good at gifting them strategically and making people feel like they are so special for having received it, which, which is great, which is wonderful. Um, ladies, I'm off. I could be there for a bit. Priscilla, you ever need to talk, you can always DM me. God bless you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And great to see you and have a good night, right? It's night. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's a pretty palette. To me, it's a little scattered, but the greens in here are beautiful. Um, yeah, I just, there, it was, it was over, it was overhyped in my opinion. Unpopular opinion. It's a beautiful palette. And this is the thing. It's not that it's not beautiful and it's not that it's not notable. It's that there was so much hype and it, and it took, uh, the thing is this was palettes like this suffered because of the hype from this. And I think that was tragic because these are really good palettes, really good palettes. In fact, even the Odin's Eye Norns palette, um, I think this palette was kind of modeled after that because it has really similar vibes. And I know she's very much familiar with, with Odin's Eye at that point. Um, and even her current palette is very much like um, Flower Punk, very much like Flower Punk, which was one of the most hyped palettes of late last year. So I think there was a lot, there was very much inspired. So, you know, I, again, not talking smack. I know people are like, oh, you're just jealous. I'm not jealous. I just, um, I mean, I don't think there's anything to be jealous of. I don't, but you know, it, it's just, I just don't, I'm not saying that they don't deserve a lot of acclimates. I just don't think that they should have been as acclaimed. And it really is the emperor's new clothes scenario where everybody said they were the best palette. It was the best palette. 
And so now everybody else has to say it's the best palette. Otherwise, people like boo them and say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Kitty, what do you think? Uh, eclectic Jour. Is that an eclectic day? Um, is with us. Hi, welcome. We are going to wrap up here because my phone's going to die. I'm not going to have time to switch up my, my uh, basket. So I might do that on... Maybe I'll do that on Wednesday and um, do a full face along with, I don't think I'm going to go with the Angelica uh, palette and not again, not because I'm hating on her because it's a beautiful palette and I definitely am going to use it. I mean, I bought it, but I think because everybody's hyping that so much uh, and I, I don't think we need to see another palette and because I'm probably going to use the pickle palette for the month, I'm going to use one of these and probably going to be the dragonfly palette. Um, to do two looks on Wednesday so that you get more of a range. And, you know, again, not because I don't want to use her palette because of course I'm going to, because like I said, I bought it, but I'm not going to do it on Wednesday. I might do it the week after that. So we'll see. I have some other ones coming though. I've been uh, <laughs> buying stuff. I also have a glasses haul coming. Anyway, so that was that was fun. We didn't the, the phone didn't die, so I'm happy. And we didn't die, and so I'm happy about that also. And the kitty's happy and puppy. Oh, she's playing in the hallway. Um that's it. That's all I got. You guys are awesome. I had so much fun. I have so much fun with you guys. You're so much fun. I'm so sorry I didn't get to my basket, but I will do, I will do that on Wednesday. I keep talking about adding in another day. I don't think I can do that right now, but maybe at some point I can. So we'll talk. But Wednesday I will be here. I will switch out my basket and I will review everything that's coming out and then give you my thoughts on everything that's going in. Do a full face with the new stuff and with one of the sugar drizzle palettes. Deal? Capiche? That's all I got. So until next time, 